Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to see the far side CME Bonanza continues. We'll look ahead to what's coming from the sun. We've got another tropical update track shift, scary seismic discovery on the U.S. West Coast, and another cut for the pole shift extinction triggering, literally. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, another quiet day on the Earth facing half of the sun. Far side eruptions continue, coronal hole keeps turning in, sunspots facing us aren't well developed and haven't flared. Pretty quiet stretch here and that should remain until the coronal hole stream arrives. Dark, incoming, triangle coronal hole with a coronal cloud intrusion cutting through it should face Earth tomorrow night and solar wind should become enhanced early next week. Folks, after we've seen two far side CME eruptions the last two days, there was a third one a few hours after the morning news show yesterday. That makes three far side blasts. Good thing we're not sitting in our orbital position six months from now. That sunspot group will be turning back around to face Earth in another week if it survives its turn across the far side. Folks, another update to the hurricane forecast track for Melissa. Now she wants to swing around the island of Jamaica, still impacting her a good deal, and then shoot north towards Cuba. Ugly situation shaping up in the Caribbean right now. Eyes on it, folks. First article today is this one. New data suggests that when Cascadia eventually rips a magnitude 9 earthquake into the northwest USA, the force direction is highly likely to set off San Andreas in the minutes to hours that follow. The entire west coast could be raised to the ground in an afternoon or while we sleep. Last but not least today, outstanding work by this team to go back and say that they got it wrong. They were the first to examine some of the tiny pieces of bone cuts, the evidence that suggested humans had caused past extinctions through hunting. Nope, those were post-death shrinkage and dehydration cracks. It's not a topic that's published on a lot, but this now makes four key papers in the last seven years, saying it wasn't actually human hunting and the spread of the human population, it was nature, and that nature is the disaster cycle in Earth's magnetic pole shift. The weakening magnetic field of Earth is the number one topic of conversation on our winter tour. Tickets are available below, and this is a four-hour masterclass on surviving the coming disaster event on Earth. Five cities in five months. Get your tickets at the link below. And we only have a few events left this year at Observer Ranch. Self-offense training November 1st after the Halloween event. Observer speed dating so you can find your prepper princess or post-apocalyptic warlord. That's November 7th and 8th. And then the film premiere in the last pole shift conference of the year, middle of the month. Come out for the end of our rookie season. ObserverRanch.com and tickets to the tour below as well. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 30 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone